Right, well, having looked at the full rule for differentiation, then with any power, we can now uh, look at some of the methods we were working on earlier, and we can return to uh, equation of a tangent. So let's have a look here um, at an example of a tangent when the power of x is no longer a positive integer. And the method, of course, is the same. It's just the calculations perhaps get a little bit more complicated, but it, it, it's not too bad. So here we need to write that as 4x to the half. And then we need to differentiate, <clears throat> bring down the power a half times 4 is 2. Take 1 away from a half is negative a half. Now because I'm going to do something with this, I'm going to substitute x equals 9 into here, I don't need to mess around with simplifying it. You haven't got a calculator, of course, so again you've got to be uh, sort of red hot with the, the work with indices, but you don't need to do anything to it. Just leave it like that. So if x equals 9, again remember the, the convention I'm using. Once I put in a number for x, I call the gradient m because m stands for the gradient at the point that I'm working at. So if we put 9 into here, <coughs> excuse me, I get 2 times 9 to the negative a half. 9 to the negative a half is 1 over the square root of 9, which is of course 3. So the gradient is 2 thirds. Now, of course, I'm going to use my old friend y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. I know what x1 is. It's 9. So I need to work out what y1 is. And we go back to the equation of the graph. Go back to here. And we put x equal to 9. So if x equals 9, let's do it over here, y will be 4 times 9 to the half. And 9 to the half is, uh, is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So that's my y1. So I can now go straight to the formula. <coughs> y minus 12 equals m, which is 2 thirds, x take away 9. Again, don't forget the golden rules. We don't like fractions in formulae. The simplest way of removing the fraction here is to take the 3 and multiply this side. So 3y minus 36 equals, remember the 2 is still there, and I have to expand the bracket with the 2. So that's 2x minus 2 times 9 is 18. I'll add the 36 onto the other side, so the final answer, 3y equals 2x plus 36 minus 18 is plus 18. And that's the probably a nice form of the answer to, to leave it. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. So 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.